Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you saw by the title, oh my gosh, as you saw by the title, we will be talking about Amazon purchases, my favorite ones, my favorite, absolute favorite Amazon purchases. So um, yeah, I bought a lot from Amazon, not gonna lie. I think if you go on Amazon and you click like your orders, it'll let you go by year. And I think like 2016 might have been, or maybe... Uh, was it maybe you know it was 2016 I probably I, I it was the most purchases I probably bought like 10 different things I know crazy I mean honestly some people buy 10 different things within the month so I'm not that bad only spend only buying that many in an entire year but like just in comparison probably um in I think it's 20 17 I bought one product and it was a gift for my dad so off Amazon so it really wasn't a lot um so yeah we're gonna be talking about obviously the product the prices uh real quick I'm wearing the Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum Palette on my eyes this shade is today for I'm wearing I'm wearing um buttered rum and warm and fuzzy on my eyes and I'm obsessed girl uh, this is for three looks so that should be up already or will be so either way that was just a side note um so we'll be talking we'll be um i'll show you what i got talking about prices um and these are my favorites so obviously i think all of these are worth their price um couldn't have been priced better you know so yeah without further ado let's just get started um <laughs> so the first products here are like probably my these are definitely my most recent purchases but they might be like my favorites um quite honestly or at least two of them i think are my favorite purchases um first here is my misha perfect cover misha perfect cover what the heck misha perfect cover bb cream this is again my most recent and again probably my favorite um i don't buy too much makeup off, off of amazon because sometimes like you don't know where you're getting it from if it's the real deal all that stuff um so i kind of don't usually but this product specifically, I you can only get off Amazon, I believe, or you can get it off their website, but it might be like super expensive. Jessica Braun buys it off of Amazon every single time, and so you kind of just know that it's going to get to you and like it's a real product, you know? And so I've been using it for, I think I bought this in August, August, and I've been using it um, ever since, and I can't put it down because I'm literally obsessed. I have the shade number 25, and this costs $14. Such a good deal for such a great product. Um, you get... 50 milliliters on it, 1.7 fluid ounces. So you get a good amount of product. I love it. Um, usually you get one fluid ounce. Oh, this one's 0 0.7 fluid ounces. So it's not even a full ounce. And usually you get like around there in one ounce. So this is a lot, a lot of product. Um, it has a nice, I love the packaging. Um, and yeah, the shade is light for me. I'm not wearing it today, but it kind of looks like this when I wear it. It's a little bit light for me, but I like this kind of look. Um, remember the winter, it'll be my nice shade. Uh, in the summer, definitely won't work, but I'll probably pick up another shade because I love it that much. Um, but definitely a favorite for sure. Try your shade. There's only like six shades or something crazy. But because it's a BB cream, you could kind of make it work. It'll, like, let's say since there's like six shades, you probably, probably someone a little bit darker and a little bit lighter can use one shade, shade specifically. So we're talking like maybe 18 different skin tones could use it. Um, if that math was correct, you know, six, six, 12 plus six, you know, 18. Yeah. So I feel like, I feel like, you know, Eve, that's not a great range, you know, uh, they just came out with a pure, I think they just came out with a hundred shades of a foundation. Like that's crazy. And this one has 18, but it is a great, great, great product. So if you match your girl, get it, get it. But definitely one of my most favorite Amazon purchases. All right, next, I probably got in June, I think. I bought this next two products um, together, but we'll just talk about this one. This is a brush set. So this is actually the Feyan brush set, F-E-I-Y-A-N. I believe this product is like $16 around there, and there's 15 brushes. It's a 15-piece brush set. Um, and I just kind of picked out some of my favorites, which is a lot. Um, um, seven. I have seven of them here. I know that there's other ones that I like. I, they're just not my favorite. But then there are some that I didn't like. So really, I liked more than half of them, quite honestly. Um, there's very few that I didn't like. And even so, there are people who are going to get use out of them, even if they don't absolutely love them. I don't even know where the brushes are. 
This one is um, one of the brushes. It's a weird angle. I just don't use this. I have no need for it. I'm not going to do eyeliner with this because it's so thick. Like, I just, those kind of brushes are just dumb to me. Um, but they always throw them in there. But again, this, but either way, I think that this brush set is so freaking worth it. This stippling brush is worth it by itself. Literally by itself. $16. Oh yes, please. This is such high quality. It is it is stunning. I use it for my blush every single day. Like not one day passes where I don't use this brush. Okay, actually that's a lie because if I'm using if I'm not using this one, I have one other stippling brush, but if I'm not using a stippling brush, I'm using this brush. This is the angled brush that it comes with. Again, it's Fayon. It's just they all just say Fayon. They don't have a number or anything like that. But um, um, this is just such a small little brush, but I absolutely love it. I'm gonna show you because I, I just I love it so much. I really absolutely love it for my Ofra Madison Miller palette here. Um, these are such hard. They're really really hardly pr pressed hard. I don't know how to say that. They're pressed really really hard in the pan, so not a lot of product picks up. And I thought maybe like this would fluff it around in there, but no you really just want to dig in there and this is the perfect br blush for it brush for it why can't i speak today the perfect most perfect blush br what the heck this is the most perfect brush for it it just gets right in there oh my gosh and it's absolutely stunning on the cheeks i also like it for my elf duo um in here which is the same it's not this isn't these are not super hard they're very they're actually really really soft products but i just like it better because it's smaller so i do i love i'll use either one for that one but um sometimes i, I just i love using this brush and this is one that i don't use often but when i do use it i'm like yes girl i need you're exactly what i needed thank you it's it's the best um one that i also use a lot this is the uh what i use for my bronzer there's nothing on it because i just cleaned all my brushes um, and I use a different one today, but 99, 95% of the time I'm using this brush for bronzer because it is thick and juicy, but it's not super like dense. It doesn't, it very, it really buffs out the product. Um, and so I want to try using a stippling brush for bronzer sometime, but I'm um, kind of like this one because I just love the way it applies my blush, but, um, before I got and before, <laughs> before I started to want, before I wanted to try that, this was my rider day. I love this br br brush for every single, well, for every single bronzer. It just applies it beautifully, beautifully. All right, so just quickly here, I don't want to talk too much about this, but this is a foundation brush. I love this as well. I don't use foundation brushes that often. I mostly use a sponge, and if I'm using a foundation brush, I'm going between this one or here, where is it? Oh, or the elf one but they're both very very nice this one's a little bit smaller so it's really nice um so it's a really nice thing this might be good for cream contour or something like that because it's small too i might have to try that um uh, but again i love this brush especially if you're brush if especially if you're a foundation brush kind of gal, gal you're gonna love it um and then these are some standout brushes um they have a lot of the game with a a good number of brushes these are kind of like i just added one but these are kind of like my favorites here this is um like a crease brush but it's not small it's kind of like medium size and i use it today and i i will absolutely love it it's just so easy omg i'm obsessed with it and then same with this one this one's a lot smaller though so it can really get in the outer corner and in the crease stunning this is a great shader brush for the lower lash line or like packing a matte shade on the sh uh, on the lid or on the outer corner anything like that this packing brush is perfect for that i live for it and then this is a great like inner corner sh um brush or like lower lash line either anything you want it to be it's really good at it these are great 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 brushes brush is um so yeah these products to, oh my gosh some of my favorites i did a review whole review on them so maybe i can link it but um um absolutely in love so again these two are probably like my top favorites um but Another product that I really love is this planner. This is a 2019-2020, obviously, planner. It is so cute. Design design is super nice. I believe this was like 13 bucks. Um, but again, I'll be putting the prices and stuff on the screen. Um, just to show you a little bit. This is like all of my October right here. Um, I just read everything in it. It's huge. It's a nice size. Ooh, it's a nice size. I do like smaller planners sometimes, but other times I just like it to be big so I can fill a lot in the um little boxes so i could write it a lot and just so i'm very very organized with literally everything i do and i love it it's a nice like it's not too stiff it's not too wobbly nothing crazy it's super nice um i don't feel like it gets super dirty at all anything like that and i really really like it and so it actually gives you like so it has obviously uh, not obviously you can't you can hardly see it but it has like each month divided up here and then 
let's just go to July. When you flip, you have this in the front of each. Oh no, sorry, this is in the, what the heck? This is in the front of the, this is in the front of the book. It's really hard to see with my lighting, but this is um, in the front here. And then when you flip to the month, it obviously goes up to the calendar, everything, but then it also has like pages in the back. So if you're someone who likes to write day by day, like notes or something like that, it has that space. I don't really use those parts. And I guess I didn't need all the extra pages. Some days I do, some days I don't. Um, sometimes I, I'll randomly need this, but usually I don't. Um, so um, all these are f if you really like it. And then, yeah, that's everything. Um, kind of that planner. I love it. I find, think it was great. I definitely will buy a uh, planner off of Amazon again. Um, if I needed to, um, TJ Maxx may have one. I'm just obsessed. I want to blend my blush for eternity because I live for it. Live for blending my br blush with this brush. All right, so then there's that. All right, so let's throw it back. I believe these were my 2018 purchases. Um, one of the, one of, I don't know, one of my techni technological ones, one of my technology kind of purchases were one of my favorite ones um, was this Fitbit charger. I lost my charger, couldn't find it anywhere, and then I found this lady, and I was so excited on uh, Amazon. It literally, I don't remember how much it was. It was on the thing, but it had to have been cheaper than 10 bucks. And, it like, here's my Fitbit. You, it literally works perfectly. Nothing's wrong with it. Um, you have to put in, like, if you're looking for it, you have to put in, like, charge two because I think they're different chargers. But it's absolutely perfect. Um, it just comes with this and this, so it doesn't come with the cube, which for me is fine because I have a little plug or I have a bunch of cubes from all of my chargers, my hundreds of chargers. Um, so it works perfect. I love it. Absolutely, truly love it. Okay, I guess that you could put on, I believe it's this way, actually. I lied. I think it's like that. But either way, it works perfectly and I'm obsessed. Um, so I think great, great, great purchase. Um, sometimes it's scary, again, purchasing um, technology kind of stuff. Uh, off Amazon because you never know if it's gonna come broken like I bought something off a of wish one time I bought a portable charger and it came with nothing inside like literally nothing inside so although that's like a lot cheaper and a lot less trustworthy sometimes like Amazon people scam you all that jazz so it's just whatever um, another great great purchase I had from Amazon was these headphones oh my gosh so I have them in the pack here because um, it actually came with a pack of two and I'm using the other pair, but they just broke so I could switch them out. Um, and I had them for a year now, so kind of makes sense that they broke. They go in my book bag and my book bag is chaos, chaos. Um, but anyway, I love these headphones. They work great. Nothing's wrong with them, which is always a worry, especially when you're like... Um, purchasing off Amazon again like you're worried one won't work something like that because you're buying really you're buying M Apple headphones basically the same things for a way cheaper price and so sometimes you don't want to get scammed anything like that so um yeah these are great as well again a great purchase I think it was 10 bucks for two like come on this is that was great great purchase okay another one of my favorites is this acrylic case i got it off amazon every beauty youtuber has these kind of cases i mean sometimes they have like make your own ones but like these were the og everyone had them um so um yeah i really really love it i love to put i love the way it looks it's so so jingly i love the way it looks when everything's lined up in here it's my favorite um it's such a weird like satisfying thing um i do want to mention that if you have this is my wet and wilds color icon bronzer in the shade um what shady beaches i guess it doesn't matter what shade but either way this one doesn't fit sideways in here um so how do i show you that um it doesn't fit in here sideways only if like you turn it right up it'll fit perfectly but it won't fit sideways so in my drawer if i put it like this it's too tall it'll get caught um so i and i can't put it sideways so i put it in front of it which is cute and I don't mind because I don't have a lot of space in this in either. And I want to like pick and choose what I want to put in there. Um, but that's just a BTW. And then also like thicker powders. Like this is my Becca Hydramus Set and Refresh powder. And that doesn't fit in there either. So you just have to be a little bit like... If you're expecting to put like powder, loose powders in there, it's not going to work. Or if you have like super huge long products, they're not going to work. Giant face palettes, they're not going to work. Um, really like this is my O for Highlighter in Rodeo Drive. And it fits really, really nice in there. Um, so, like, this is probably, like, the biggest I would go. I mean, it has a little space over here. Okay, barely any space. Like, a little smidge bit of space. But, really, I wouldn't go bigger than that um, as far as width because 
it just won't it, it might not fit it could potentially not fit it could but it also couldn't oh here we go this essence one is a little bit bigger actually and it fits in there so maybe if you have the essence pure nude this is a good um size reference because anything bigger is not going to fit so that was just a bcw but i still love it i think it makes my makeup look so good um it makes me want to use my makeup <laughs> so much more um i actually changed i changed my makeup collection quite often like my the way it's storage and stuff so that one wasn't in there for the last few shot my sashes or anything like that but i just re-put it back in and i remembered how much i loved it because it's so cute so one of the great my favorite purchases for sure all right, this last one I believe is from 2016, bro. 2016. 2016. It's about to be 2020 and I still have this product. You know it's a good product. You know it's good. This is, I don't even know what it's called. EOTW waterproof case. I don't know, but I take it on every single vacation. Every time I go to the beach, every time I go to the pool, because it keeps my phone in there, keeps it dry, and nothing is getting in this pouch. Nothing has gotten this pouch. And again, I've used it underwater, I've taken underwater videos and everything like that. Nothing, nothing, not one thing ruins uh gets into this thing and i love it um so you really have to obviously if you have one of these or you're going to purchase this one off of amazon you really have to make sure that it's snapped all the way together like that and then you close these because it will uh, if you like close it and it's not all the way closed or something like that it will water will get in there but literally once it's sealed it's sealed girl there's nothing getting in here and again i've had it for almost four years now that's obscene that's crazy because obviously i love it so much and it's one of the, my one of the best purchases ever of my life because i don't know what other products other things i've had for like four years you know other like clothes and like i don't know a bunch of things just come and go because the styles change and stuff like that but this this stayed with me for so long i don't remember how much much it was i believe i i'm um, you know it might have been like four bucks five bucks something crazy like that it might have been super super cheap it could have been under ten, something i think i believe it was under 10 um if it was over 10 it wasn't that much over 10 it wasn't that it wasn't that expensive so i'm obsessed and I, I can't believe 2016 nuts all right guys so oh my gosh wait i forgot to mention okay guys so this last product i'm sorry if something changed and i'm moving a lot but i need to show you because it is actually my um recording stand or whatever so my phone goes in here and um you can adjust it however you want um the legs bend the legs open they bend they twist i'll just use my face i guess <laughs> they bend like that however you want to put them they work girl and this is probably again one of my best purchases ones i've been one i've been using non-stop i think i got this in 2017 2018 but either way i've been using it non-stop for like a year now and i'm 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 in love with it quite honestly and it came with a little remote which i didn't buy any new batteries for because it takes like the circle batteries but it came with a little remote that would help you to that if you put on bluetooth on your phone and you um put your phone on here it would you could take pictures without having to obviously hit it on your screen so that's how i got to a lot of my thumbnails before and i was obsessed i just need to buy a new battery I just really haven't um it's not on the top of my to-do list but um yeah i just needed to show you that real quick Okay, so um, the verse for today is John 7, verse uh, 37. It was the last and great day of the religious gathering. Jesus stood up and spoke with a loud voice. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. The holy writings say that rivers of living water with flow from the heart will flow from the heart of the one who puts his trust in me. And so true if you have any questions comments concerns about the verse you know what to do comment down below or dm me at makeup underscore marissa six bob you already know <laughs> that's it for this video guys please subscribe give this video a thumbs up tell everyone in the name mom to subscribe and yeah that's it for this video bye guys